Welcome back. Jamie Hudson here now with a look at our weather. What a hot day. It was very toasty and still very hot in this seven o'clock hour right now, Anthony. And what's interesting is we take a look at the stats for our summer. Well, Portland has now seen 21 days of 90 degree weather, and we've hit the triple digits three days this year. Now, on average, we typically see 90 uh, on average about 13 times a year. Uh, well, this was the high today, 99 for us here in Portland. Triple digits were out there in the Dalles. Yes, they reached 100, as did Redmond. Uh, but you see our heat map here, plenty of reds, even the purples as you head down I-5 to Medford. It is 101 for their high. Much cooler and more pleasant along the coast. But we still are expecting plenty of hot temperatures, especially out here in the gorge. Uh, we're talking about the east Columbia River Gorge of you know the of Oregon and Washington that heat advisory lasts until tomorrow night at 9 p.m. So triple digits expected anywhere you see that shaded orange. So try to limit your time outdoors. But the big storyline is, yes, we hit 99 today here in Portland. But come Monday, that forecasted high all the way down to 75. So we are riding that roller coaster and for our weather uh, coming up here. Look at the overcast skies, though, in Seaside. Much more pleasant, mild, cool, 58 degrees. Making our way over to wine country. Stoller Winery does have quite a few clouds, so mostly cloudy, 81, and a little breezy as well. We're seeing those winds out of the south-southwest at 13 miles per hour. Canby, it has been absolutely beautiful over there. Much warmer, though, still 87 on this Saturday. Portland, we're holding tight at 95 degrees. We've kind of got this mix of blue skies with the clouds, and as we continue into our over Overnight hours, you'll see those increasing clouds by 1 a.m. But check out those temperatures still expecting to be in the upper 70s by the time we hit 11 p.m. tonight. Now we're heading into the month of September, so here's what you can expect. That average daytime high, 77 here in Portland. Well, the overnight low on average is 54 degrees. And then for rainfall, we typically get about an inch and a half of rain for September. Speaking of rain, we do see a slight increase in those rain chances come Monday. So Labor Day, we could see an isolated shower. It should be short lived and just a few raindrops and then mainly dry Tuesday. Let's time this out for you by 10 p.m. We're looking at the low 80s, pretty clear skies, but look at the coast. See these little light green pockets here? That could be a drizzle along the coastline tomorrow. This is at 9 a.m. Cloudy here, low 60s. We head into our Sunday evening. Still a sprinkle possible, especially for the northern part of Oregon. Uh, coastline, but here just cloudy. We stay dry. It is not until we get into our Monday morning hours. This is 7 a.m. We could see that isolated shower, but really not expecting much in the way of measurable rain. Still potentially a sprinkle by Monday night and then late Monday night into Tuesday. That's when we start to see uh, those dry skies. So how much rain are we expecting? We stay dry now until Monday, except for the coast could see those few raindrops. Here we go right here about a tenth of an inch maybe, but we're just going over a trace of rain here. So but tomorrow we are staying dry and getting back into the upper 80s, partly to mostly cloudy skies along the coast. They will start with that patchy fog in the morning before low to mid 60s for a daytime high. We will hover right around the 90 degree mark and then plenty of sunshine out on the gorge. Here is a check of that seven day forecast. Still hot tomorrow as we look to get to that 90 degree uh, daytime high there. But then Monday, much cooler mid 70s. Tuesday seasonal before we then look to warm right back up into the 90s. Anthony. Jamie, thank you. I know so many of us are looking forward to that cool down. Well, no